Let's Go Outdoors with Michael Short, supported by the Alberta Conservation Association, conserving Alberta's wild side. You know, you hear a lot about the fragmentation of the land-based habitat, but we don't often talk about what kind of effect culverts have on our water habitat. Alberta Sustainable Resource Development is conducting a pilot program to look at just that. What effect do culverts have on fish habitat and fish population? There's sort of two basic levels of ecological effects that culverts impose on fish populations, and that's sort of the small scale in the short term, where a culvert prevents a population of fish or even individual fish from moving from one site to another site for, say, spawning or uh, finding suitable habitat or a place to spend the winter. So that's kind of the small scale effect. The larger scale effect is when fish populations get isolated from each other and entire watersheds get split up basically into uh, smaller patches of habitat by culverts that function as barriers to movement. With so many culverts scattered across the province, work is underway to identify some of the worst areas affecting fish movement. We've got to prioritize, we've got limited resources, it's a big problem. So we're focusing on the species that are under the greatest pressure, like Arctic grayling, bull trout, Athabasca rainbow trout. And then we're looking at the priority watersheds where we still, uh, where those species live and where the pressures are the greatest. And then the specific sites that are causing the biggest impact. And we're focusing our efforts on identifying and dealing with those sites. I guess in a perfect world, we could put bridges across every water crossing in the province, but that's certainly not practical. But what is practical and what the province is moving towards is better designed culverts and a better maintenance schedule to keep those culverts working properly. Ultimately, that will be the saving grace to fish and the fragmentation we're experiencing with their habitat. Alberta Conservation Association. Since 1997, more than $120 million has gone towards conserving wildlife and fish and securing habitat, creating a lasting legacy for Albertans.